the way that you get a varied choice of what you do. There's lots of different things that you do. It's like a club for every activity you're doing in PE as well. It's important that we create a, a personalised curriculum, personalised opportunity for all children to come and enjoy being part of the PE and the, the sport environment. Some of you are very, very good at this. Some of you need this improving. Okay, so we're going to help each other out. We're going to give a little bit of feedback. We're going to be a little bit more reflective. We're going to be looking at what each other's doing and trying to help each other to improve. We see the future as integrated learning very personalised learning and learning that moves away from the structure that we currently have. Our curriculum's already developed from being um, you know, sports specific to being activity orientated and obviously now we're going to take it on, it'll be, it'll be concepts and be processes. We've put a, a great emphasis um, on developing knowledge of, of health and fitness and we spend a lot of time um, looking at uh, evaluating performance as well. We spend a lot of time doing peer and self-assessment um, which gives the children opportunity to, to look at the way they're performing and to almost plan and, and, and map out where they where they want to go and how they want to take their education forward. And now you've got to let go of your hands. No, I've got you, don't worry. Let go of your hands. You talk to your partner and they tell you your mistakes. So when you go wrong, you don't start going, oh, I got it wrong. They give you encouragement and show you where you've gone wrong so you can correct it next time. We're looking at the whole experience. We've got a lot of children that come to our clubs, a lot of children that have been very, very close to permanent exclusion. Um, some that have been excluded have come back, got themselves involved with the clubs and, and are finding a different route in life. You find that if you're doing gymnastics, it helps every other sport that you're doing. Okay, because you get much, much more used to the body that you're living in. The teachers encourage you to stay fit and healthy. It's more of a, a fun way of doing things. So when you're older, you don't have problems with your health. There's other things going on, like this young man, he's, he's been doing some coaching. Okay, we've had some of you who've come to the gym summer school. So there's plenty of things that you can do. If you want to keep doing gymnastics, you keep coming on the lunch times here, like today, you can come in the evenings, West Bromwich Gym Club are in here on this floor. What we're going to do though, I think, in revolutionising our curriculum is actually make more confident, independent learners who will be more engaging, not only in school, but in our community. It's not just a, not just a case of narrowing it and, and, and channeling it into, into what we're doing with them, you know, sort of two hours every week. How can we go beyond those boundaries and, and make it a, a, a lifelong a learning experience for them? We've got very successful um, lunchtime clubs, uh, after school clubs, which, uh, which create a range of opportunities. We do also provide opportunities for them to develop their, their ability to coach, to, to observe and analyse, to lead um, and to take responsibility as, as all-round citizens. <laughs>